Hey guys, uh, I'm hoping with this video, uh, most of you that are trying to get high efficiency motors to run, pulse motors, um, you name it, uh, in the sake of over Unity, um, hopefully you'll be able to use this video. Um, it has some very good tips on how to run a motor without using all that power. Uh, remember, the formula is um, for power usage is volts times amps. Okay, so if you can get the amps to be zero, then power consumption goes to zero it's because it's it's a multiplication problem. Uh, voltage could be 120 volts, could be 12 volts, but if you multiply by zero or close to it, your power consumption will be low. So hopefully you'll be able to use this video for that purpose, okay? So that you can discover ways of running your motor without power consumption. Hello, uh, welcome. I'd like to show you guys something that I found out about high amp uh, motor. This is a drill motor. 18 volts and you know I took it out of its case and so it's basically it's just an electric motor and I'm driving it with uh, like a computer supply 19 volts and 2 amps the thing about it is that it's a high draw uh, motor so what's happening here is it triggers uh, overload protection so if I try to run it directly to the power source it triggers overload protection and you'll hear it in just a second once I connect it well let me try to do that one-handed hold on a second Okay, you hear that? It's going on and off, on and off, on and off. And you can see the light here from the uh, source. So it's it's training a, a protection because it's overloaded. Okay, now my point is that if you run the same motor at a high frequency, high voltage with low amps, you can get more work out of it uh, without using the high draw without triggering the full two amps so uh, let me demonstrate that to you with a device that pulses the DC in a high voltage but it has hardly any current but yet it runs the motor amazingly well so let's hook that up in just a second, okay? Okay, all we did was hook the source, the 19 volts, 2 amps, to a unit that converts it into high voltage, uh, 200 volts. But like I said, it's, it's called cold electricity or radiant energy. And watch what happens now when I connect it to the same 18 volt high draw uh, motor okay so let's do that you got your positive your negative over here and you got your two two leads whoops I was shorting them but okay here we go it's one lead Notice the motor is running without stopping now. Uh, so it's not triggering that uh, safety mechanism that it was when it was directly connected to the adapter. Okay, so that's fine and dandy, but I found out another, another uh, huge benefit that we can get using high voltage DC. What I'm doing is I'm going to short, short it out with this uh, capacitor, and it's a unipolar capacitor, so it doesn't have no polarity. 50 volt capacitor, 47 UF, and connecting the both yellow leads to both terminals, as as in a, a short circuit. But watch what happens to the speed of the motor um, when I connect it. 
so we're connecting one one end here of the capacitor and then the other end of the capacitor Do you hear that? You can see the motor rock when I make the connection. Again, now the motor is going at super high speed. You can hear it. And also, remember it's not even triggering the 19 volt 2 amp safety mechanism. Meaning that it's drawing less than the 2 amp. So let's double check anyway with the amp meter. at zero. Okay, the reading is about 1.4. So it's only drawing 1.4 amps out of a possible 2 amps. So before when I connected it directly, it was triggering the safety mechanism. That means it was drawing more than the 2 amps. So now it's, draw it's running a lot faster with less air. And uh, you can see that it's much more efficient that way with a little help from that tiny capacity. So that's, I think that's a big, big, big uh, breakthrough and that we can, we can run the heavy amperage motor without triggering safety, the protection circuit, meaning obviously that's drawing a lot less amps than it's even rated, it's only drawing 1.4 amps, whereas it's rated for 2 amps, so we can do this using high voltage, low amps, so you'll find that you can run this motor all day and it won't get hot. Sorry, that was a short. Sorry about that, I accidentally shorted it out. These are two very close together and they actually touch each other. So as I was saying, much more efficient run of the motor, full blast, but without drawing the two out. And what's really the magic is, is we're, we're moving the DC into high frequency, high frequency pulses. So it's much more efficient that way. It, it doesn't allow the motor to get hot. It runs with less amps. Uh, as you saw, running at 1.4 amps versus triggering the safety mechanism. That means it was going over two amps before when I connected it directly. Hear it, looks like a charm. And yes, it does have torque. If I try to stop it, the whole mechanism will turn over. So, hope that uh, helps somebody that's trying to get over Unity. Because we're kind of, we're pretty close to that using the system, high voltage, low average.